Good morning, today we're looking at Audi Q2 1.4 TFSI Simple Service. Mark Savage here, follow me and I'll be able to save you some money. What's in this kit? Well, four Bosch nice spark plugs, oil filter, an air filter, something we're not going to be doing, cam belt. A lot more technical knowledge to do a cam belt. I bought the kit, but I won't be doing it. And some top of the range 530 fully synthetic oil. You'll get good stuff for this. Oils are your own personal choice. Yeah. And an Audi Q2 1.4 TFSI engine. Now, as you can guess, unnecessarily a little bit harder than it should be. The old days of just a couple of little clips and take the air filter out. No, to make you to take it all off and lift it up and there's two screws underneath. Spark plugs, unnecessarily a bit hard. Air filter, the oil. Everything's harder than it needs to be. And the BMW, they've got like a star shaped um, spark plug now. I mean, why? And you have to have an elongated socket to get in and down the back. Now, I've not checked this out yet. Who knows? It could even be the same. But we're doing a basic service in a wise car. These little 1.4 engines chuck out 140 brake horsepower. That's a hell of a lot. If you think that the old 1.6s, even the XR2i in the years gone by, used to chuck out 112. And that little eco boost can be a 100 brake horsepower from one little engine. Brilliant. They do go wrong, but if you look at the old cars, never service them, they went wrong. As long as you do oil changes on these regularly, you're going to keep your car going. Spark plugs can do 20, 40,000 miles now, so much better. But your oil and filter needs to be changed so regularly, and it helps doing your air filter as well. Let's get on with this. Very few tools, and they just, you know, it's just sort of weird sort of push in and clip out sort of thing to get this little bit off here. You, you can't just whip it all off. You've got to check. You need a pair of these, and you've got to get that clip down there, and that clip down there, and then you've got to sort of wiggle this up, and then there's screws underneath. It's literally a few little bits and bobs you've got to work out what the hell was going on without snapping anything. Totally, totally unnecessary. It really is, and they really try and do this to make sure that you can't do it. It's all it is. And you save so much money doing it yourself. An oil change, 170 quid I think it is. You know, special oil, waste disposal, um, this and that, they add prices on. Spark plug, full service, oh, I don't know, 400 pound for main dealer. I mean, you are paying for that massive, beautiful showroom and the secretary and the receptionist. You're paying for all them. Do it yourself. So it turns out, Little clips, pick it up, push that one back. Little clip, push that one back here. And literally, just to pop off, a bit strange. You are, to be honest with you, a little bit scared of doing it because normally they'd be bolted in, wouldn't they? And you do feel a little bit scared, sort of yanking something and thinking, well, if I broke it, you know? Um, there's a little pipe here. So, just a small screwdriver, just. To all the Phillips screws. That was easy. Look what I'm talking about. So, just this one here, lift it, pop it out. This one here, just push it back. Simple, just get hold of them, clip them, push them back. And one little layer pipe, that's it. I did find where the spark plugs go, here. Looks like that's got to come off as well somehow. Oh, there's another clip there, that comes off, and the spark plugs are here. And they are just a 10 mil bolt that hold them down. There's four there. A little bit easier than I thought it was going to be, to be honest with you. Well, I say they haven't done it yet, have I? So, let's have a look at how dirty this air filter was. Bear me, this is a nice new shiny one. Voila. Nice new shiny one. Let's have a look. If I'm honest with you, I could probably see this would stop you from actually wanting to do it because you had no idea how to get it off. You don't just go yanking things off. You always check for where the screws are and so on. So yeah, I can see why they've sort of done it this way. It's not, it's not to be good to you at all, is it? And these just little clips that push in, unnecessarily getting your fingers trapped. I can't imagine what this is going to be like every year. Yeah, I can't really find. I can't imagine what these little clips are going to actually be like in 10, 15 years time. When you've done this, you know, 50, 20 times over the years, Fly. 
Well, definitely the changing. She's going to know it's so much more power than this is. She's going to be so happy. <laughs> well, look, that's easy, isn't it? You know, job done. Pop that one back on there. Same way it came off. And happy days. Right, let's check the spark plugs out now. So your plugs are a long way down there. This little clip just pops off. It seems to be plasticky. Too impressed. Everything's just plastic pull on and push on. Odd. Undo the bolt, take it out, just put it somewhere sensible. That's 10 mil. I always do one at a time. No reason. Early days when I muffed up before. Now, don't have to take the connector off. There you go. You can see how deep these are. So I've got a double connector, hopefully. Let's have a look how far down that goes. Not want to be knocking anything the wires or anything. A little bit of resistance. So I've never done one of these before. Just having a little bit of confidence. Hope these videos will give you that little tiny bit of confidence. All you need. Honestly, all you need. Cam belt. <laughs> I've seen people do cam belts. I've been with them when they've done them, and I just don't like it. <laughs> I suppose like when I did the peds, I was like, yeah, just pull it apart. But it was a ped, a cut under pound. This is a bloody expensive car if you muff it up. So spark plugs, you're not going to muff up, you know. You stupid to have a tiny bit, etc. But anyway, so I always have one of these little electric. Um, <laughs> electric. I always have one of these, a little magnetic hook just to pop down there. Take the plug, oh my God, that's a strange looking plug. Look at that. It's not got the huge electrode bit on the top. They've been in there some time. They really, really have. NGK these are. Simple, just replicate that four times. But you can see where, but how odd. Now, always, regardless, always check. Measure these up. You don't need to do the old um, feely gauges and they're all set nowadays. I've had before people saying, oh, you should do them, but they are set for manufacturers, what they should be, and they are identical. Anyway, unless they've been bashed in a box, always check the size, make sure they're the same. I've bought stuff before and the guy got it wrong and it caused real problems, because it wasn't shorter, it was longer, and that would have impacted you know, could have hit the piston, could have, any could have happened. So, replicate this four times, show in a second. I cannot stress enough. Do not over tighten the spark plugs when you put them back in. It's just a little bit of a, and that's it. It makes sense. You can use one of those pound per footprint things, I don't know. Torque wrench if you want to, but I tend not to have done it many times before. Cut little pipes to get out of the way and little bits and bobs. These are stuff you don't touch, leave all that alone. So one, two, three, pop them out, change these plugs, then we're gonna look for where the oil filter is and change the oil. Which never underestimate having one of these tools. Honestly, just so easy, pop it in straight out again. I know some of you are saying, well, you should have it in here. Well, I used to, and when you used to put the plug in, take it on, it kept popping off. It wouldn't actually come off, so it used to come out. And it used to stay in there. It caused me hell and all. So I took it out, I only used that. Up to you. But, everything is crammed in there. This is in the way. You have to get that one out and pull it back. You have to get this one, push that pipe over there, and wiggle it out. This one, you've got to sort of push this out and lift it up. It all, if I'm honest with you, is so tight in there. But, four plugs, all done. Let's get it all back on. It's the problem when the wife comes out, who's just to the right of me, who doesn't want to be on camera, says to me, have you checked the washer fluid? No, I wasn't going to actually. I really wasn't. Haven't you got some nice stuff? No, no, I haven't got any nice stuff. <laughs> Could I use some water? No. Just check the oil. Now, this was only done last year, and it was done by the manufacturer, obviously. We paid a lot for it. It's on the very minimum. I don't fill it anymore. So, so what's that rattle? It rattled before, didn't it? You know, <laughs> you start to worry. 
Let's get on with this. Oh, jack the car up, if you're a fat bloke like me. You get underneath now, star shape, and you've got about 4,000 little bolts to take out. <laughs> Have a quick look under. So they're here, here, you can see them, just follow them all the way around, and then it just clips out, and this falls on the floor. It ain't gonna come off in a hurry, is it? So, there's the uh, plate you've got to take off, the, um, oh God. Sump guard, belly pan, thank you. Right, so, belly pan off. Ta-da. And what do you need to get that off? Well, one size, which is nice and simple star shape, but then they put these three at the back, massive ones. So you need two different sorts of tools. Anyway, and then you need a screwdriver, because at the front, there are three little clip, four little clips, but then two little ones just to push in. Yeah. And there we go. Nice, clean. It is very clean, actually. Very simple to get off. And the sun plug is just there, which you can see there. And that'll be oil change job done. Now, we just checked the oil, and it's really on the minimum. The wife looked at me, and all of a sudden, when she revved the car, went, whoa. I thought it's actually getting some fresh air now. This will drive so much better. So worth doing. But it doesn't feel expensive. <laughs> you know, it seems a little bit more screwdrivery, tacky, sort of easy to snappy sort of thing. Yeah, a little bit annoying. But anyway, let's, uh, I will double check the oil when I take it out this time. She's looking at me, you know she's looking. I'm not going to pan over because she'll kill me. But if I smother the oil on the drive like it did on the BMW, watch that video. Not clever. If I do that, she won't be happy again. Manufacturing ears with red eyes. So we didn't actually have a lot of oil in this motor. Remember that's a uh, five litre tub. Sump plug is 19 mil and it's 903 to get this off. Remember to put some fresh oil on there, which I've just done. And uh, once that's last drained out, put it all back in again, and I better put the oil back in. And there we go, three and a half litres out, four and a half in. Look at the fucking state of that. And there we go, four plugs, nice and easy, air filter, underneath tray out, oil filter, fresh oil. Took three and a half litres out, that was main dealer doing that. Yes, they burned a tiny bit of oil, four and a half litres in, it was a whole litre less. Lovely and clean oil in there. The wife just started it, it's got a whoop noise to it now. That's got a little turbo in this. Took it round the block, good as gold. We've chopped up the antifreeze, that doesn't need doing for another 30,000 miles, and we've Done the screen wash, I've got con there, and I've just checked the uh, brake fluid as well. All good. I suppose the only thing now I could do is check the tyre pressure, but we had four new tyres put on it recently. But it doesn't hurt. So, job done. Clean the car. No. Drop the bonnet. Try not to get any more oil on the front of it. Simple as that. You take care of yourselves. Bye bye. Watch my videos.